In the city of Mbarara, in the southern region of Uganda, lies the dairy cooperative Uganda Crane Creamers Cooperative Union. Since the founding in 2005, the cooperative has grown to include a staggering 18,000 farmers, ranging from single cow farmers to larger farms with 100 cows or more. Joining forces in a cooperative has been a huge advantage for the farmers that now fetch 75% more for their milk than they did before. Despite the success of the cooperative, the farmers face a series of immediate challenges that start already at the milking bucket. Milking is done in the traditional fashion over an open bucket, often without tying up the cow's tail. Dirt and dust is impossible to keep out and the milk is often contaminated at a very early stage. The milk is then transferred into another container and taken to one of UCCCU's 102 collection centers where it's filtered and tested. Most deliveries are made by bicycle and the heat and the time spent taking the milk to the collection centers is not exactly doing the fresh milk any good. Sometimes farmers lose a lot of milk because when it is taken to the processors they reject the milk that is contaminated, that is not uh, good quality. So it's a big challenge. Once the farmers get a good price and they see that if they could produce good milk, then they are going to what? To gain. In order to keep the milk clean and fresh, the farmers need access to a portable milking system that doesn't allow for dirt and dust to get mixed up with the milk and its away from the cow's udder to the collection center. This, along with the cooling system, based on a sustainable energy solution, would boost the farmer's income potential. At the Royal Danish Embassy in Kampala, Danida business partner Warwick Thompson has been following the dairy corporation since its beginning and sees a lot of potential. UCCU is a, a, a fairly good sized cooperative, still reasonably immature. Unfortunately, so far the market hasn't paid much of a premium for quality milk, although we see that changing in the future as the East African dairy markets become more competitive and, and uh, consumers become more aware of, of standards. They also have a problem that many of them are, are uh, not um, either not on the power grid or, or else they're on a power grid, the power grid which is very unreliable. So they have quite specific energy problems which might be able to be addressed with some innovative solutions for cooling. In 2009, the cooperative began the building of a major processing plant that will allow them to post-process and package dairy products themselves, moving the UCCCU a significant step up the value chain. At the moment, UCCCU is selling all its produce to the only company in Uganda that has the capability to package and post-process dairy products. When the building process started, the private company facing the competition started paying the cooperative even less for their milk than they did before. But the plant will be finished and the competition will benefit both the members of the cooperative as well as independent farmers. We have seen it work in most areas. Denmark, Kenya, cooperatives, they still give better price than private companies and cause competition. So even when you have a competition, from the cooperative giving a better prices, even private companies will give it better prices. So I think that's the way forward. Access to innovation and the Uganda Crane Creamers Cooperative Union are looking for researchers and companies that are interested in being part of boosting the business potential of the cooperative. The farmers in UCCCU need a portable milking system that allows the milk to travel in a closed system from the cow's udder into the container that's used to take the milk to the collection center. At the moment, various kinds of containers are used to facilitate transportation, but none of them are built for the purpose and not suitable for transporting an easily contaminated product like fresh milk. In order to keep electricity costs down and to be sure of having a stable access to energy, the farmers need a cooling system based on sustainable energy to keep the milk fresh. If these challenges are met, the UCCCU will fairly quickly be able to collect a higher price for the milk and finish the processing plant, allowing them to add more value to the product and to enter a rapidly growing dairy market.